be with you. Welcome to All Saints Cathedral, Nairobi. This is a weekly reflection. This week we are reflecting from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, from verse 1 to 11. So far we have covered up to verse 8. And together we are thinking about what it means to live the new life. And our focus today is the sinful habit of lying. Let me pray for us as we share this timely word. Heavenly Father, we pray that you speak to us through your word. And we pray that this timely word will find place in our hearts. Help us to reflect on it. Help us to respond to it. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Colossians chapter 3, verse 9 reads, Don't lie to each other, for you have stripped off your sinful nature and all its wicked deeds. I repeat again, Colossians 3 and verse 9, Do not lie to each other, for you have stripped off your old sinful nature and all its wicked deeds. The reading of God's word. I don't know whether you will agree with this statement, but we are all born liars. I don't know whether you agree with that, but I think it is true. You know, this is the default position of all fallen human beings. And this is consistent with how the devil or Satan operates as a liar. We read in the word of God that he is a father of all lies. Now, everyone lies sometimes, and most people lie most of the time. People lie about anything and everything. They lie about things that you wouldn't even think they would need to lie about. And they lie about the things that are patently obvious, obviously untrue. It's important for us to understand how God feels about people who lie. And this is the word that we are sharing today. How God feels about people who lie, people who love telling lies. You know, Proverbs um, 22, you know, adds a lot of strength to our passage in Colossians, saying that the Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in those who tell the truth. And I'm sure that you have heard the familiar passage about lying in Proverbs 6, from verse 16 to 19, which points out that among the six things, or the seven that the Lord hates is a lying tongue. You know, a lie, when we talk about lie, we, it basically means to speak falsely with the intent to deceive. You know, to speak that which is not true. When we lie, we are basically speaking Satan's, Satan's native language. When the devil hears us lie, it is actually music to his ears because that is his language. Now, the difficult part about lying is that it is so easy to do. Very, very easy to do. Uh, a young boy once asked, was asked, a young boy was once asked by his mother what a lie is. And he said that a lie is an abomination to the Lord, but a very present help in time of need. Very wrong answer. Now, but now, in our passage today, Paul is writing to the brethren in Colossae and he's instructing them to avoid a life of telling lies. I don't know whether, as you listen to me, you identify with this subject of lying. I don't know. But the truth is, lying to one another disrupts unity, destroys, and it tears down relationships. And it often leads to very serious conflict among people. Now, Paul knew that if the brethren in Colossae lived a life of lying, then the church in Colossae would not stand. Because among the many things that lies do is that lies tears down relationships. But why do people lie? Why do we lie? Let me give you this um, story as an illustration. And probably you heard this story before. The story of two high school friends who skipped their morning classes. And when they finally went to school that afternoon, they 
they said to the teacher, sorry, sir, we are so late. We had a flat tire on the way to school. And so the teacher, who was sure they were lying, smiled and said, that's okay, no problem. All you missed this morning was a test. And I will let you sit so that you can make it up right now. And so he gave them separate um, sheets of paper. And once they were seated, the teacher smiled again and continued. All right. Question number one. Which tire went flat? Your guess is as good as mine. They gave very different answers. Why? Because they were lying. And so why do we lie? Why do people tell lies? Let me share a few things. Number one, people tell lies because they want to protect themselves. We lie to avoid getting into trouble. I don't know whether you relate with this reason. You know, spouses lie to each other to avoid getting into trouble. Employees, they lie to their employer so that they avoid getting into trouble. So one of the reasons why people lie is because they want to protect themselves. But number two, the other reason why people most likely lie is for selfish gain. You know, when there's something to be gained, we will be tempted to tell a lie. We make the compromise because of our materialistic desires. Now, whatever reasons makes us lie, the truth is that God wants us to hear this, that he hates when we do it. He doesn't like it when we lie. And he says, from what we have read in Colossians chapter 3, we must stop telling lies. So why should we avoid telling lies? Number one, because lying is contrary, is completely contrary to God. He doesn't like it. He hates it. He doesn't love when we lie. It is, it is contrary to what his word says. God is truth. That is what we read in his word. God is truth. God is light. And therefore, when we lie, we are completely um, contrary to God. Because in God, there is no darkness. In God, there is no falsehood. And therefore, when we lie, we are the exact opposite of who God is. I don't know whether you have lied this week. I don't know whether you have lied to your boss. I don't know whether you have lied to your parents as you listen to me. I don't know whether you have been telling your wife, your spouse lies. You wives, I don't know whether you've been lying to your husbands. I don't know whether you've been lying to yourselves. Have you lived a life of telling lies from January? Now we are in November. And all along, you've been telling lies. Now this word is for you. The Lord is challenging you to stop telling lies. Instead, he encourages us to consider telling the truth at all times. And this is what identifies you with God. When you identify with lies, you are identifying yourself with the father of lies, Satan. But when you identify with the truth, the truth is you are identifying yourself with God. You know, when you speak the truth, this is what will set us apart from the world. This is how we associate ourselves with God and how we defeat the devil and the schemes in this world. And so our prayer today is that we will endeavor to put away falsehood and speak the truth. I pray that we will strive to be men and women of the truth. And so I invite you to reflect on this this morning, that you need to get read, you need to deal with the sin of telling lies. Tomorrow we are going to reflect on what it means to live the new life by putting on a new Christ-like nature. But before then, I pray that the Lord is going to help you today to identify with the truth and to avoid telling lies. Please do not lie again. Do not lie to anyone today. May the Lord bless you as you reflect on this. Amen.